These uh, predictions okay. have been anything to go by. I'm now going to declare the result of the Clacton constituency Member of Parliament. I, Ian Davidson, being the acting returning officer at the election for a Member of Parliament for the Clacton constituency on Thursday the 4th of July, do hereby give notice that the number of votes recorded for each candidate at the said election is as follows. Bensillam Matthew, Liberal Democrats, 2016. Farage Nigel Paul, Reform UK, 21,225. Jameson Craig, Climate Party, 48. Mac Tony, Independent, 317. Osborne Natasha, Green Party, 1,935. Awusa Nepal Jovan, Labour Party, 7,448. Pat Anastu Tassos, Heritage Party, 33. Pemberton Andrew, UKIP, No to Illegal Immigration, 116. Watling Giles Francis, the Conservative Party candidate, 12,820. The number of ballot papers rejected was 111. I therefore do hereby declare that Nigel Paul Farage is duly elected as the Member of Parliament for the Clacton constituency. And the turnout was 59.23%. Would you like to? Thank you very much. Well, Mr. Returning Officer, all here at Tendering, and I have to say, fellow candidates, it's been a well-run, well-fought, and remarkably clean election battle. I think we'd all agree on that, and thank you for your services. I promise that I will do my absolute best as a Member of Parliament. I had 20 years as an MEP, but it's not quite the same link or same responsibility with constituents. I will do my absolute best to put Clacton on the map. I'll do my best to bring more tourists. I'll do my best to try and bring some private investment. It's over 30 years ago that I fought my first parliamentary by-election. I've fought lots of them over the years, and I've had big successes in European elections, and perhaps less so under First Past the Post, which is a very demanding, uh, very, very demanding problem for smaller parties. I will say this, it's four weeks and three days since I decided to come out of retirement and throw my hat in the ring. I think what Reform UK has achieved in those just few short weeks is truly extraordinary. Given that we had no money, no branch structure, virtually nothing across the country, uh, we are going to come second in hundreds of constituencies. How many seats we're going to win, I don't know. But to have done this in such a short space of time says something very fundamental is happening. It's not just disappointment with the Conservative Party. There is a massive gap on the centre-right of British politics, and my job is to fill it. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. But it's not just what we do in Parliament as a national party that matters. It's what we do out round the country. Getting 5,000 people in that room in Birmingham last week, the energy, the optimism, the enthusiasm, the belief that Westminster is just completely out of touch with ordinary people says to me that my plan is to build a mass national movement over the course of the next few years and hopefully be big, be big enough to challenge the general election properly in 2029. What is interesting is there's no enthusiasm for Labour, there's no enthusiasm for Starmer whatsoever. In fact, about half of the vote is simply an anti-Conservative vote. This Labour government will be in trouble very, very quickly. And um, we will now be targeting Labour votes. We're coming for Labour, be in no doubt about that. I want to thank the team that have helped me do this over the last few weeks, my fellow candidates for behaving as impeccably as they have. Believe me, folks, this is just the first step of something that is going to stun all of you. Thank you very much.